This is uh, Dilworth Daily, originally from Jamaica. Uh, Daily's Destinations is my company. I'm in Severn, Maryland. Just want to introduce you to the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. This is actually the largest cruise ship in the world. And we're going to have a couple different spotlights and focus throughout the ship. The first one is going to be Central Park. And right now, we're right in the heart of Central Park, based, of course, in on the ship, Central Park, based on the New York City theme. So when you look around, you'll see different venues to get something to eat. To my left is the Park Cafe, and to my right is Giovanni's Table. Park Cafe is a casual setting where you can get something to eat. Giovanni's is only open for dinner. An Italian theme, very relaxed, very cool. And again, you can see there's such a hub. There's a lot of people going by. There's a lot of things that you can do. Over on the other side, out, out of the camera angle, is Vintages, which is a wine bar set in. Central Park has real plants and trees, and it's actually like being outside and inside at the same time. We have the view of the sky, which is obviously right above us. We're at the second neighborhood that we'd like to feature. This area is called the Broadwalk area built on the theme of a typical broadwalk in any major city across the world. Um, to my right you have Pinwheels, which is a store for kids. And to my left is the Ice Cream Parlor, which of course you can get great flavors of ice cream. Behind me is a carousel, one of only two on cruise ships, the other being on Royal Caribbean sister ship, the Oasis of the Seas. Uh, further down we have other places you can get something to eat. On my right is Johnny Rockets, Johnny Rockets that you have on land. And to my left, behind the carousel, is Rita's Cantina, like a Mexican type restaurant. And another cool thing that you could do in the Broadwalk area is a zip line, which of course is above me. And I think we're about to see somebody go on the zip line right now. Here's another fun thing that you can do in the boardwalk area. We actually have two rock climbing walls on this ship. And when you look, to my right is one and to my left is another, but we could just look at one right now because they're exactly the same. And you can see that we even have children. I mean, it's a, it's a huge, um, pretty tall rock climbing wall. And another cool, fun part of the boardwalk area is the aqua theater. At the back, you can see stadium type seating. There are several aqua shows throughout the whole week that you could definitely enjoy while you're at sea on Allure of the Seas, Royal Caribbean's largest cruise ship in the world. Here we are in another awesome, cool spot on the Allure of the Seas. And this neighborhood is called the Promenade Area, where we have several great things that you can do while you're here. There is a Bolera's nightclub, which is a cool spot where you'll hear Latin music being played. You have the on-air club, which is a karaoke type uh, setting for relaxation. You also have stores on board. A couple of stores that I'll mention is the guest store, the logo store, where of course you can get Royal Caribbean entities or souvenirs or things along those lines. You also have cool places where you can get something to eat, such as Sorrento's. And a cool thing I want to mention about Sorrento's is that Sorrento's is actually open pretty much all night except between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. So just in case you want to get something to eat between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m., then Sorrento's is closed. But you also have other options that you can always get something to eat. And we're looking at the Schooner Bar, which is a signature bar on all Royal Caribbean ships. So again, if you have sailed on any Royal Caribbean ship in the past or any in the future, you will always see a Schooner Bar on all 21 of the Royal Caribbean ships. And here we have the Rising Tide Bar, which leads from level five here on the promenade, and it goes all the way up to level eight, which is on Central Park. You 
course, this is the Vitality at Spa, where we have both the spa area along with the gym. And as you will see, it's amazing. Any land-based spa, any land-based gym, this runs pretty high um, with that level. Here we are at the Allure of the Seas gym. Um, actually, a pretty good gym. Uh, if you're used to elliptical machines, free weights, there are classes that you can take. Um, some are paid classes, however, but uh, any major program that you would do at your local gym in your hometown, you can definitely do on the Allure of the Seas. This area has um, the casino, which of course you can see the sign behind me, Casino Royale. There's also Blaze, which is a nightclub, disco type atmosphere. We also have the Comedy Live, where they have comedy shows. And you also have Studio B. Studio B is an ice skating rink on a cruise ship, where you have both ice skating shows, and also if you can ice skate, you can rent skates and go skating. So. Venture Ocean, another great area on the Allure of the Seas where you have entertainment for your teenagers and your kids and it is very age specific. Welcome to the final neighborhood on the Allure of the Seas. This area features a flow rider, mini golf, zip line, and a basketball court. Thank you for joining me on my first uh, travel blog. This is Dilworth Daily on the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas on the sun deck. Look at this awesome view. You too can have this great experience. Check us out at www.dailiesdestinations.com and we will definitely make sure you have this awesome experience.